Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can connect to an AWS RDS MySQL server from Python. So let's begin. So first of all, uh, we're going to learn about how we can connect to a MySQL server on AWS RDS using a Python script. So for that, we need to create a MySQL server on AWS RDS. So first of all, head up to your AWS account and then go inside the RDS service. You can just search RDS or it will be present in the applications here. Now, after going to the RDS, we can head up to the instances, which is DB instances. And now we can create a MySQL database if not already existing. So for creating a MySQL database, you can click on create database and then you can select the basic configuration. So for this, I'm going to just choose MySQL as the database type. And then I can set up other configurations like I'm going to keep it a free database. And then for the database identifier, I can keep it as database one or anything it recommends me. For the master user username, I'll just keep it admin, which was stated by here. And I can keep a password here. For the password, I'll just keep it rogue knowledge for now. You can keep it whatever you want. And now you can move forward. I'll just keep other uh, configurations as it is. If you want to change the configuration, you can change this and select a better or a degrade or quality of your configuration or instance. For the storage, I'll just allocate 20 GBs to it. And we need to enable public access so we can actually access this database using a public script. Now, um, we can move on to the next part, which is additional configuration. So we remember that MySQL database is running on the server, it is running on the port 3306. So we can add it to our inbound rules later when we configure it. And now for the other part, we can keep a database name. So for the database name, we can keep it something like test MySQL. You have to name this database in the initial database name, else your database will not be created. All right, so back to retention period. And I think I will keep all other things as it is. And now I can create the database using the create database button. All right, so our database has been created. Actually, it is not created, but it is being created. So let's wait for it to create. Meanwhile, we can write our script for connecting to the database. So let's move on to the coding part. All right, so first of all, we need to install MySQL for connecting to uh, database, uh, MySQL database. So we need to install the library, which is called PyMySQL. So I'll just install it using pip, pip install PyMySQL. And this will install PyMySQL inside my local system all right so now i can import this library using file mysql and now i can try the script for connecting to this database so first of all i can declare some variables like db host then i can declare something like db name and db user as well with the db pass as well all right so i'm just gonna keep uh, write the values for them this is probe knowledge for me uh, you can use environment variables if you want to keep it secret then the db user is admin in this case as we, as we saw before i had kept the database name as test mysql and for the db host we'll know once the database gets created then we'll copy the endpoint of the database and paste it here all right so now we we'll connect to this database using the pi mysql's connect connect function so for this, we can write a line, something like connection equals to pi mysql dot connect. And then I'm going, to, I'm going to pass the configuration for our database, which is the host, database user, and password corresponding to the variables db host, db name, db user, and db pass. All right, so we have successfully connected to our database. We hope so. So we'll, we'll just confirm it using the statement connected to the database. Now we can run a simple command, something like uh so basically for running the command we need to create a cursor so we can create a cursor use connection dot cursor and now we can execute queries on this uh, something like cursor dot cursor dot execute select version which will return us the version of this database all right so now we can print this value by the cursor dot fetch one function and then we can store that in the db version variable now we can print the db version variable to print the version or the executed statement by the cursor so now we can finally close the connection for safe, uh, basically for good practices. We have to close up the connection. So the transaction is actually closed after we have a uh, closed database. All right, so for the DB host, we can head up to our instance now. 
and let's just wait for this to create it after, after it has been created there will be an endpoint right here which will be we will copy and then paste it as the host name all right so i have got my endpoint right here i'll just copy this endpoint and i'll paste this uh, paste it as the host of my database connection now all right, so now I can uh, actually edit the security group rules for this. So as you can see, the inbound rule is set by this EC2 security group. So we need to edit it to, to be publicly accessible to all IP addresses. So we'll just head up to the security group. And now we'll modify this. For modifying, I'll just select this and click on actions. And now we can click on edit inbound rules. So for this, we need to add a rule, which is custom TCP. And for this, the port was 3306. And we can allow anywhere IP4 addresses to allow any uh, IP address to actually hit on our AWS RDS instance. Now we'll just save the rules and head up back to our AWS RDS server. And now we should be able to connect to this. So I'll just run the script again. So it says connect to database and also prints the version which was uh, fetched by our cursor execution statement. So perfect. So I think that's how we connect. Uh, to an AWS RDS MySQL database using Python. And that's it for the video. So, guys, thanks for watching.